It was a society of chance, a society of hope. They believed that nature was full of energy and life. There would be elves and trolls and hidden people that would live among us. The hidden people were more or less exactly like we are. And they would live in hills and cliffs and places like this. And they would go about their business in peace and they would leave us alone and we would leave them alone, more or less. The farmer's wife was having a child and there was no doctor around. And the farmer in his agony turned to the hidden people to ask for help. The trolls, they are another story. They were big guys, uh, huge creatures. They would run after farmers and uh, farmers' children and they would eat them, eat them alive. The children on the farm were playing on the rock and that rock was a holy place. It was a place of the hidden people. The next night there comes an angry man in the dream of the farmer or the farmer's wife. The angry man he says, if your children don't stop playing around uh, our, our place, something terrible will happen to you. And uh, there were stories of farms, farmhouses burning up or, or, uh, or something terrible happening. They would live in caves and you could even kind of sneak into the caves. But they would sniff you up. They would say, there's a, there's a smell of man in my cave. Where is that man? Scandinavian gods were uh, worshipped here. They brought their ideas of the world. It was a religion of many gods. It was a god of thunder and another god for the sea and another god for the earth and the growth. The earth, the sky, man, it was all a harmony. Augun mín og augun þín, ó þá fögru steina, þitt er mitt og mitt er þitt, þú veist hvað ég meina. My eyes and your eyes, ó oh, how beautiful. My eyes and your eyes, ó oh, how they are beautiful. Mine is yours and yours is mine, you know what I mean.